I never expected these words would come out of my mouth but we are about to go swim with sea lions. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we left home to travel the world and brought work with us. Follow the journey as we immerse ourselves in cultures around the globe and inspire others to do the same. We're Brandon and Aaron. Subscribe and stay tuned. After our trek to Machu Picchu on the Inca Trail, we arrived back to Lima and have been settling back into our slow travel and remote work lifestyle. Brandon has been working as a contractor for his company back home and also been writing articles for a new company called Travel Talk. In addition to editing our videos, I had the pleasure of performing a new solo I choreographed at a performance party here in Lima, and I have been taking and teaching class with Ballet San Marcos, a professional contemporary dance company here. We have had a great time in Lima so far, meeting new friends, connecting with the culture and the people, and of course the food. But today we did something out of the ordinary. Tell us about it. I don't know anything about it. You're the one who booked it. I don't know any details at all. We're going to swim with sea lions. That's all I know. I think near the island of Palomino. Otherwise, I have no information there. But, uh, we're not actually going in some of the lions. Excited? No, not at all. <laughs> oh god, alright. Okay, the, the wind is pushing us apart. Here we go. Oh, 
He's like, relax, they're very friendly. He's like pushing me towards they're, them. They're so big though. Barking is so loud. And it's so smelly. Oh, it sounds terrible. <laughs> one, we were just sitting like this close, and one just popped up. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! It jumped right in front of your face! You didn't know where they were coming from. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. That was so cool. I'm so glad we did it. Right there. Right there. Look at the lower side of the rock right there. There's just a sea lion in there. Oh, my glasses, please. They're so cute. Thank you. Because the, the weather is so warm. They have been boring, they don't leave. Oh. These are humble penguins and they're really small because of the warmer weather. They used to be bigger. Yeah. They're on that rock there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. They going? Yeah. We just got back from our sea lion excursion and we have some stories to tell you. So we took a taxi back to Lince and we were so tired, so we just passed out. Took a nap. About an hour and a half later, we both woke up from our own stench. We smelt so incredibly bad that we woke ourselves up. We smelled literally like sea lions. Like, and it they was don't so smell gross. good. No, no, they smell Then good. I started thinking about it. After our excursion, we went to this fancy restaurant with another person from our tour, Stuart. And we must have smelled so bad. Like these people were trying to have like birthday dinners, anniversary party, whatever. And we walk in underdressed and smelling like fish. So I apologize to anyone who was at that restaurant. Swimming with the sea lions at Palomino Island was absolutely insane. I think we just kind of signed up and we we're like, oh, it's something to do. We weren't really doing a lot the last two weeks since we were working. So we figured, oh, we'll book a tour and it seemed like a cool thing to do. I was not prepared for how many sea lions we would be swimming with. There were thousands. I mean, truly thousands of sea lions between all the ones that were laying on the rock, all the ones in the water. It was just insane. They were everywhere. Once we got in the water, there was like a group of them that formed in front of our group. And it was maybe 200 of them that were competing to see us, do tricks for us. They were so curious and honestly so cute. They were like little dogs. But popping out of the water like, hey, hey, 
look at me, <laughs> look at me. But they were so big too. So you'll see in the video that at times we're like screaming because randomly you'll feel one like go through your legs or it'll touch you and, and you're like, like, what the? Pops out. <laughs> It was insane. I highly suggest anybody that's in Lima to do an experience like this. Go to Palomino, swim with the sea lions because it, it was an adrenaline rush like no other. And the water was absolutely freezing cold. This is something that I'm totally out of my comfort zone in. So if I can do it, you can probably do it. The only thing I will say, if you are prone to seasickness, you're probably going to get sick. Anyway, we're gonna make some dinner because this has been a crazy day and we have not eaten anything today except for pretzels, chips, and tequeños, which are little cheesy roll-up things. So we are very hungry, we need real food, and we need a good night's sleep tonight. Oh yeah. And I got a pumpkin beer because it's fall season. What do they call it? It's spooky season. That sounds weird. I'm no top chef. I'm very anxious. They've arrived. Wine and butter. <laughs>